Haiti vanished in central Florida over the past week, leaving authorities and Special Olympics organizers puzzled. The group in the U.S. for a Special Olympics soccer tournament. And News Asia's Brooke Schaefer joins us live. So, Brooke, they all disappeared right before they were scheduled to fly back to Haiti. Yeah, Nicole, that's right. And deputies so far have told us that they don't suspect foul play here. But as you said, they are now actively looking for a seventh Haitian delegate. Law enforcement said he was supposed to get on the plane back to Haiti yesterday, and he never showed up. Tonight, law enforcement in Orlando looking for seven missing men, all part of Haiti's Special Olympics delegation. The seventh man reported missing by Osceola County Sheriff's deputies over the weekend. Deputies said the 25-year-old was last seen getting off a bus when he disappeared. Earlier last week, six other Haitian delegates vanished. The group in Orlando for the Special Olympics checked out of their hotels, law enforcement said, but left all of their belongings behind. Vanessa Joseph is an immigration attorney and the vice chair of the Haitian American Professionals Coalition. Even if you are going to defect, would you leave your belongings behind? In a statement to News Nation last week, law enforcement said they believed this was an isolated incident and did not suspect foul play. The Special Olympics wrote five of the missing men were not Special Olympics athletes. One has an intellectual disability. But with a seventh Haitian delegate now reported missing, Joseph said she's not jumping to any conclusions. The first thing that always comes to mind for me in these situations is could this be a situation where they were simply taken advantage of? And it is worth noting, of course, that if these delegates decided to stay in the U.S., they wouldn't be the first to do so. Some athletes often take opportunities like the Olympics to defect. But again, at this point, we don't know exactly what happened to these seven delegates. The mission right now is finding them. Nicole? Yeah, so, so Brooke, we don't know the details, as you said, uh, of this disappearance. But we have seen a pretty serious uptick in Haitian immigrants coming here to the U.S. Yeah, we actually got some numbers today from the U.S. Coast Guard. They told us that so far this year, they have already come across about 6,000 Haitian migrants. That is up from about 1,500 last year, about 400 the year before. So that number definitely increasing. But again, I do want to note that as far as these seven delegates are concerned, we don't know exactly why they went missing. Law enforcement right now really just trying to track them down. Yeah, still a lot to learn here. Okay, Brooke, thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.